Yo, what's going on guys, it's me Manti and I'm here with you for the patch 27.0 dev build. Of course, it is dev build, so expect uh, some changes going into life, but it is a huge patch. I'm uh, very excited for it. I think these changes are very, very good. I've been already telling you that in my recent videos uh, that the good changes might come very, very soon and they are here already and hopefully it will be even better when it goes live. I will be dividing this video uh, to four parts because the four big changes have been done in this version. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into it. Did you guys know that whenever you buy something in the Rush Real Market, you have tons of benefits? You get much better prices than you have in the game client, you can support your favorite content creator with a promo code, and you can also limit the number of your purchases. Instead of several mini transactions, you can just buy yourself platinum and then buy in-game stuff such as gems, passes or deal offers with it. If you want to support me, please use code MANTI whenever you purchase in the market. You can leave me a message that will show on my stream as well. For all the people who uses my code, big thanks. First big change is a new legendary support unit. Gunslinger, the menace of fucks and murderers. The features of unit, a beginner gunslinger has the ability to swap places with other units to perform a ghost shot. He is also able to perform an enchanted shot with the mana boost button. The gunslinger's talents starting at level 9, the gunslinger can swap his place twice and gets a choice to make, keep supporting the units dealing damage or start to outcompete these units with his own damage. Level 11 talents allow you the gunslinger to clear any negative effects and receive additional mana from defeated enemies. With level 13 talents, the gunslinger will inspire the surrounding units after making a swap, increasing their attack speed or alternatively he can mind the enemies with an invisible bond that distributes damage among enemies. Level 15 final talent allows the gunslinger to reload his weapons faster. Plus, the enemies affected by the enchanted shot will get an increased chance of suffering critical damage. Second big change is, of course, Hero Expeditions, a new game mode that allows heroes to explore the dimensions of random. Every day, your heroes will go on expeditions of one of three types, in order to obtain hero fragments upon their return. The number of expedition portals depends on your division, up to five expeditions per day. The types of expeditions are first common expedition is the base of every exploration second grand expedition suitable for seasoned explorers and third legendary expedition a pure search of fortune your units of required level can also partake in expedition in order to obtain additional rewards equipment fragments essence normal equipment and rare equipment the most skillful and luckiest expeditions will be able to obtain mega rewards which are legendary hero fragments tokens of legendary equipment epic and rare equipment unique animated avatars and unique animated emojis and of course this luck can be improved by using the new searching compass item which can be obtained after division 5. the expedition portals are guarded by the mysterious mercenaries who on every day give you hero fragments of any rarity Visit them daily to accelerate your progress. Third big change is Hero Reworks. Now every hero gets a development tree, which is explored with skill points obtained for every new hero level. The level cap is now increased from 20 to 80, with the current hero levels multiplied by 4 in this transition. Now passive hero abilities are unlocked at level 10, 30, 60 and 80. It is an earlier unlock than the one that existed previously. The crit damage is increased every 4 hero levels. Each hero level cost in fragments is now decreased. The fragment requirements for upgrading rare and epic heroes from level 0 to level 80 are now increased. Rare heroes went up from 1940 to 3800. Epic heroes went from 80, 890 to 18. 100 fragments. To compensate for these changes, the rewards related to epic and rare heroes have been multiplied by 2, so it's equal. A new expeditions option now allows you to get hero fragments of any rarity on a daily basis. 
And of course, balance adjustments have been made. Certain heroes have had balance adjustment and fixes, which are J, Captain and Gadget. Rare and Epic Hero tokens have been removed from the game. The remaining tokens have been rounded up and credited to players' accounts via in-game mail with fragments via 1 to 1 ratio. Flicker Hero can now be obtained among Epic Hero fragments. Due to its low popularity, the Elementalist has now been reworked. Now the hero is targeted at actively working with merge mechanics on your board. Why are these changes? The hero level upgrades need to occur more frequently, of course. Currently, many players accumulate epic hero fragments for months, which give very little sense of progress. Hero abilities need to become more accessible. Passive abilities empower heroes to a significant extent, and the previous system required way too much effort to sense any hero improvements. Third change is Division and Season Reward Upgrades. Bonus rating points for the daily victories can now be obtained up to 3 times per day. Those are the plus 5 trophies per win. Starting with Division 3, a bonus rating for PvP victories is added. Starting with Division 5, you can now obtain a searching compass for expeditions in PvP. By increasing your division, you will also receive new rewards and unlock access to new items in the store. Recommended crit level added to the rating progress bar, 7000 plus trophies ratings are now visually distinguished from the rest as it follows separate, more strict matchmaking rules. Now the crowns for the top 100 of the leaderboard have improved visually. Another big change is a regular event modifiers. Instead of the previous energy mechanic in the Royal Trial events, now a separate set of event modifiers are used. Now energy is now only one of the possible modifiers. The duration of modifiers can vary from 1 to 4 days. Some modifiers change the rules of deck building, which, while others affect the units in battle. All other aspects of Royal Trial events, progress, rewards, store items, etc. remain untouched. Every modifier has a pool of recommended decks, a mechanic similar to rec recommended decks for the Random League. By default, for every separate modifier, the slots are filled with 5 recommended decks. All amendments made to deck slots by the player are saved until the end of the current modifier. For the league mode, the mechanic of unlocking units depending on the player's arena is now removed. Now the set of units available to the player is determined solely by the modifier and identical to both modes. And some other, maybe smaller changes, uh, legendary summoning improvements. The cost of unlocking new units via the legendary summoning is now changed. Now to obtain a unit that the player doesn't yet have in their collection, one needs 70 balls. The summoning of a unit that already exists in one's collection requires 45 balls. The option to get an extra ball for watching an ad is now available daily and grants one bell each Time instead of two bells every two days previously. So it's basically the same. The official website now contains an option to learn much information about bells and acquiring one free extra bell each day. Uh, another change is add and premium improvements. Now premium owners can use the add bonuses for PvP and co-op once every five minutes, just like players who watch ads, instead of once every eight hours like previously. The number of add bonuses is limited for every day. Errors in certain quests related to the activation and expiry of premium have now been fixed. And that would be it from the basic information that I have been given. I didn't test it yet myself, uh, any gameplay, any expeditions, anything basically. I uh, will most likely do it all on my YouTube, Mo maybe I will also stream. Uh, so like, subscribe and comment down below and I will be posting daily, maybe even two videos per day. Uh, so hopefully you guys like it and see you guys in the next video. Hey there, thanks for watching and if you like the video, please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.